Hello everyone. I'm Mrs. Tuzima Vashistha and today we are meeting for our social science class. In today's class, we are going to start a very new chapter from history that is reconstructing history. So let's get started with the class. All right, so from the name itself, as it suggests, we are going to look into the name of the chapter is reconstructing history. That means in this chapter, we are, we will be seeing the past, like what are the different, what do we mean by history? What is the importance of history? We have been using this word history for several times now. Now we need to understand what is the importance of studying history. And also we're going to see here by through this chapter of reconstructing history, we will be trying to understand the different periods that exist in history. So our today's topics will be, what is history? Why do we study history? And the periodization of history. And from your today's class, your learning outcomes will be, you will be able to define history. You will be also able to delineate or describe the importance of history. And lastly, you will be able to identify the three important periods of history. Now let's first try to understand what is history. Now, when we understand, listen to the word history, we automatically get to know that history is something which is related to the past. So history is in very simple words, it is nothing but the study of the past. That too in a very chronological order. What is meant by chronological order? That means in a organized order, like which event happened first and which uh, event comes at the last. So the word history, if we see, it has its origin from the Greek word historia. And the meaning of the word historia is learning or knowing by inquiry. That means you are trying to know more about what has happened, what had happened in the past. All right. And this events which we try to look in the past, these are always arranged in a chronological order. As I said, chronological order means what has happened at the beginning and then we come one after another, knowing how we have reached to the current stage today. Now, who are known as historians? The, the people or those persons who tries to make a systematic effort to study the past they are known as the historians, right? Historians are those people who attempts to have a systematic study or an organized study about the past and they try to reconstruct our history. Now coming to what is the importance of history. Now from the meaning itself, we have understood that we are trying to look in the past. Now why we need to look into the past? First of all, when we are trying to look into the past, it also helps us to understand how we have reached to the current present world, all right? The world that we are living today, if we do not know the history, like what was the world you know, almost 10,000 years ago? How did the world look like? So history, with the help of history, the study of history helps us to understand how the world has evolved over time and how we have reached to the current stage or the current world where we are living today all right so that means history in short it helps us to know the history of the present all right so that means history helps our uh, history helps us to know the present in which we are living secondly history makes us aware of the past we get to be uh, uh, through the study of history we become more aware about all the events of what had happened in the past and events like who were the kings what were the type of life the people had at the point of time was it the same like which we have now what type of food did they eat right what type of dress did they wore what was the economy of the society at that point of time. So all these informations we can get through the study of history. Thirdly, history helps us or equips us with a lot of information which helps us to cope with the present time, right? So with the help of the past information, we can have a better future also. It helps us to plan for the better future. Like for example, if we make a mistake, 
in the past we learn from the mistake that we have made from the past and in the present we try to work on that and we do not try to make that mistake again so similarly when we are trying to know more on the past so our from the past it will help us to have a better present and also it will help us to build a better future at the same time fourthly then uh, the study of history helps us to look at the changes how it has taken over time right so the changes might be small so the changes uh, that we see it does not happen overnight so changes always takes time big changes always takes time right so these changes were apparently small at one point of time but now those small changes only has brought about a big change in our society like for example if you see there was dinosaurs at one point of time right but now we do not find dinosaur anywhere the entire species has become an extinct species so what had happened that has led to the extinction of a complete species from the earth so yeah so that is what history helps us to understand how we have come up and what were the events what were the small changes that had taken place in the past and um, and it is only when we study about the past we can observe such changes and its impact like for example you can take another example also now we are living in the pandemic time right so you take for example after 20 years after 50 years so you you this pandemic year this 2019 20 or 2020 21 all this will become a history for us in 2050 so we will be able to uh, you know talk about this what were the changes that took place at this point of time how schools were running how people were conf confined inside their houses right so yeah so this is history which it is only when we study about the past we can observe the changes that has brought about in the society all right then history is not merely about kings queens or soldiers or wars that were fought right history is much beyond that so when we hear the word history we automatically think that if we are going to learn about the names the dates the, the names of the kings and the rulers but yes it has the names of kings and rulers but also history tells us about the lives and activities of the ordinary people at that point of time all right it tells us about uh, how was the life of what type of life that was dealt led by a group of people at one point of time it also not only talks about kings and queens it also talks about the lives of the ordinary people so this was the importance of history now coming to the periodization of history now history if we see history as a whole is a huge thing right so to understand to have a better understanding so the historians have divided the entire history into three divisions all right now what are the three divisions prehistory proto history and history now what are the things that falls under each of these categories prehistory means that period of time when people did not knew how to read and write all right that is the period of the cavemen that that is also known as the stone age people did not know how to live people you know people lived as uh, habitated in jungles they did not have proper clothes they did not knew how to read and write so those that period of time falls under the category of prehistory okay that means at that point of time no right uh, written or written records can be found people did not knew anything no knowledge was there at that point of time then comes the proto history what is put uh, proto history proto history means slowly slowly people have humans have evolved they have learned how to live live in houses all right from jungles they have come to now a bit concrete houses they have learned how to eat food properly how to eat cooked food they have also learned how to use fire so a lot of things were discovered at this point of time so people have grown civilization right so people have started to live in civilization so indus valley civilization are, are, is the best example which falls in this category of proto history and also at this point of time some written records were also found but this written records which were found they were not uh, historians were not able to understand the language or the script that were used by that people at the, by the people of belonging to that period all right so that is why this period falls under the category of proto history 
coming to the, the last category that is the history so history is the most advanced period that means by this at this stage of time people have almost learned how to read and write and this writing historians could also understand what the what they have left behind all right so this example is the very cage where the 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 knowledge the uh, the sharing of knowledge have started like the the priest where they used the the, the gurukul system where people used to get education under one priest or under a learned person under a scholar right so this period comes under that is known as the history period where writing was discovered and whatever records were left behind historians could also at the same time read and understand what was at that point of time all right so this three so this uh, this is the entire period of history and this three periods of history also has a few another name so the three names that are used is ancient history then the medieval history and also the modern history so basically in this uh, here we are trying to understand the ancient history in ancient history we look into the stone age then the the growth of civilization how indus valley civilization started all this falls under the category of ancient history then in medieval history when we come we try to understand how the moguls came to india how the turks came and ruled india all right then how the uh, the the delhi sultanate was established in india all this comes under the category of medieval history and in modern history it basically talks about the british rule how the british came and they ruled india for a long period of time yeah so with this we have ended our today's class we have understood all the three important aspect of this chapter that is what is history we have tried to understand the meaning of history we have tried to look into the importance of history and also we have tried to understand the three important periods of history so with this we have ended our today's class i hope this class was very yeah, useful for you we will meet in the next class with another new few more topics till then thank you everyone take care